Good evening and welcome to it. This is Chess and Wine. My name is A.D. Beeler. Back with another update on the Olympiads and Team SA's performance. We've got our head coach for Chess South Africa, Mr. Ruben Salimu, to give us an update. But quickly, let me let you know. The ladies, obviously, we lost to uh, Belgium, a stronger side. Belgium, highest rated, higher rated, obviously. 3-1. Uh, to one. Uh, The only one on, um, was the point on board one. And the gents, the men, the open team crushed Pakistan for to zero very impressive win very nice games very beautiful games to watch now over to mr ruben salimu arena international master ruben salimu head coach of chess south africa with the obviously detailed update thank you okay welcome to the rest day of the olympiad um tournament and i'm very happy to say i've got some really nice news here today so we start with um, the ladies team. We lost to Bulgaria 3-1. Jesse winning on board one. Um, Chloe losing on board two. Haley on board three. And uh, Davida on board four. But the performance of the ladies has been good. And, you know, going to the match with Belgium, we knew what we were facing. And I'm very impressive that uh, Jesse pulled off a win there. That's good because these points also add up at the end to our overall standings. And going into the rest day, uh, Team South Africa is really leading the African nations and is on 58th, which is quite impressive. Um, no, it's like considering, you know, like where we started, we were seeded 79th, I think. And that's a, an impressive positioning. So, well done to the ladies team and uh, thank, special thank you to uh, WIM Anzel who's really helping as manager there and hyping up the team and making sure they're motivated and excited to go into their next matches. And also special thanks to Daniel Caudry. He's putting in some time, extra time when he's done to help the ladies analyze their games. Doesn't have to do that, but you know, he's doing it. And um, for us to not utilize his, his experience would be folly. And I'm very happy that he is there uh, lending an extra hand to our ladies team. In the men's section, like we predicted, we trounced um, Pakistan 4 0, which we really needed to do if we we're going to really, uh, you know, demonstrate dominance at least for our African, um, African teams, which is where our competition really is. Daniel, with experience, uh, just ground down his opponent. And Caleb, Caleb played a very impressive game. For a long time, that game was equal. And he just held on, played what he needed to do and pulled the point home for a young man at his age to do that. That's impressive. But Nele continues to perform well on his board, winning his game. And Kodri, experience, he was the first one to finish. <laughs> so very well done to the men's team on that 4 new win. And that puts us actually as leaders for, for, for all African teams now for the competition i think egypt is just below us yeah 66th so going into the rest day team south africa wins i just want to say special thanks to both managers uh, sean really amazing work that you're doing and anzel i mean uh, this is exactly why we compete in these international events uh, we build a team which people can rally behind and um, we're so grateful that you guys are there and you are, you've got our support. So the next um, matches, uh, South Africa plays Denmark in the ladies team. It's going to be, we can do this. I think we can actually do this uh, with the way girls are playing. I'm, I think Denmark we can deal with. And then in the men's team, we are playing Kazakhstan, which is going to be a tough match. But um, we've been punching up from the beginning. Let's see how we do. I'll see you on the next update.